how to handle persons with disabilities who have broken the law has remained a challenge to the Kenya police. Lack of disability-friendly facilities in police cells is also raising an alarm, with the Kenya police spokesman Charles Owino highlighting lack of monetary control being a major challenge in addressing this issue. It will be fine we don't have interpreters and therefore communicating with certain persons, categories of persons with disability is a big challenge to us. And I think because we are recruiting next week on 24th, if I meet a signed interpreter in the recruitment center where I'm going to recruit, I can assure you I'll give them priority so that I can have more. And from this meeting, I'm going to put it to the commissioner that we are going to announce that we have as many sign interpreters as possible to visit our recruitment centers. Despite the protection awarded by the Judicial Service Act, persons with disabilities are yet to benefit from it. Section 38 of the Act waives judicial fees and also provision of legal services. That, you know, in terms of accessibility, people with disabilities have those certain rights. And the High Court made it clear, therefore, that uh, in a few years' time, once the law begins to run, if those various places are not accessible, there will be issues, you know. There will be rights issues uh, and the you know, courts will need to respond to that. Out of the correction facilities visited, over 260 persons were living with disabilities but lacked any special treatment from the rest of the inmates. Top offenses committed by persons with disability are said to be rape, robbery with violence, assault, theft and drug trafficking. You know, you realize that the mandate of the Kenya Prison Service is containment and rehabilitation of offenders. So actually, to be very sincere, most of what we look at is containment. The court orders us to receive the people. Our work is to make sure that they do not escape. So you see that we don't really concentrate on disability much. And the assumption has been that people with disabilities don't commit crimes. Kenya Police is now seeking for collaboration to deal with its officers who are disabled within the line of duty. As officers get disabled, some officers end up even losing their jobs uh, because you are told now you are disabled and you have to leave. You cannot perform anymore. This was there before. It is changing a little bit. And uh, many a times, uh, because policemen are not, uh, we do not have unions, and we do not talk for ourselves, uh, some workers take advantage of our problems to harm us. But I think God is great. We now have a police service commission. A policy framework for implementing existing laws touching on the disabled and crime has been called for as a matter of urgency. The National Council of Disability, UPDK and other arms dealing with disability have been challenged on making available Disability Act copies to all prisons and police stations. Henry Miner, GBS News.